<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We always love catching up with our next guest, whether she's behind the scenes, on stage, on the screen, or right here on the couch with us. Her authentic brand of comedy will keep you laughing nonstop. You've seen her on Death Comedy Jam, Barbershop, and Bounces TV Last Call. Please welcome one funny lady, Ms. Vanessa Fraction. Hello, Hello ladies. Ladies. Yes. Uh, You look super cute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Hello, beautiful. You sure. Mwah. Thank you got that you glow. Dear. You got that glow. Hey. <laughs> Come on, glow. Just let your soul glow. Oh, I'm feeling the glow from the so inside. I say you're looking, I say you're looking yes. real different today. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just to some, the people said a little something has happened to you that's different. Yeah. Uh, oh, can you get the details on what happened to you, oh. Miss Vanessa? Oh, that little something on the inside just shining all over my outside. What was that on your left finger? I'm I'm getting getting I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting I was getting married. I was getting married. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Girl, I saw the proposal down to the Instagram. I was on there like, oh, oh it was so cute. How do you feel? He's surprised me. I feel amazing. I feel amazing, especially um, being a female comedian, being on the road. Um, a lot of us, I don't know if we think we ever going to get married. I don't think, if it, you know, if we know that it'll ever all the way come together and mm -hmm. this man has brought it. Um, oh, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> My hype man is everything. If you don't have a hype man that's gonna hype you up like that, <laughs> you ain't really doing it. Um, I feel amazing. I feel shocked. Um, he definitely shocked me. Um, I was hoping that I acted feminine uh, on here because I was like, dog, how are you doing this to me shy. right now? I'm like, yo, <laughs> homie, really, really? Um, but it's just an amazing feeling to be in love and to kind of feel. Um, I already felt complete as a person, it's but amazing. just to have um, a completion in life and have a partner to do it with. So I feel amazing. <laughs> How did you meet him? Uh, he, I actually met him at a comedy show. Met him at a comedy show. Mm -hmm. um, I found him to be interesting. And I was like, why don't you like men like this? This is a nice uh -uh. guy. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know, you look at somebody and then I said, well, maybe, especially I'm in good circles. I'm in a lot of circles. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, maybe I get one that's a little taller, maybe a little richer, you know, or something. I mean, these are honest feelings that you yeah, go through right, or whatever. Yeah, but, um, and then I saw him like, uh, I invited him out maybe a week or two later because I really, really, really liked him. Mm -hmm. And when uh, we met up, I was very drunk. And, oh. <laughs> and you know, just kind of doing my thing as we do as single people and not ready, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, he walked away at that time. And then uh, last summer, uh, I felt like calling this number that I thought was someone else and it was actually him and we wow. started working together oh and then um, as friends just it just came together so <laughs> God, you gotta be ready you gotta be ready I'm, I, I'm, you have to be ready man y'all know me I'm, I'm the love chick you know? yes and I'm, I left my ring at home I'm sorry but, but I'm, I'm engaged too yes and you know but it turns into this whole other mode are you in yes. wedding planning mode right oh now? yes honey I'm on the say yes to the dress mode where are we gonna do this <laughs> four at? weddings I yeah mean, I'm like, watching I'm four just, weddings I mean, I'm doing it's the whole thing. I'm really enjoying um, th this whole lady moment, you know, mm -hmm. like I'm in a male dominated field. So I'm always really, you know, what, a, you know, this kind of person. So to be able to uh, relax into my womanhood and relax into this romantic space is uh, is very wonderful. So, yes, all oh. the planning is going down. So the people said that mm -hmm. now, I mean, now that you have the love. Yes. And now that you're going to have the marriage. Yes. The people said that you now want the baby. Can the baby. The people yes. say that, but the people. <laughs> I don't know if the people know I'm people slick 40. Lying. Yeah, I'm okay. slick 40. Okay. So, you know, um, I, I do. And I, and I kind of did. I was like, oh, I have to have another baby in this really loving uh, space in my life would be great. But my fiance mm -hmm. is no to the babies. He's like, Aww. you can have as many puppies as you want, child, but mm -hmm. you will not. We won't be having babies. He was like, you can go to therapy and um, you will feel better. Because it's, it might be one of those things of where you, um, you're used to taking care of somebody. You're used to having someone in the home. Yeah. And so it's like you feel like you want to go through that cycle again. But 18 years is a long ride, honey. It I is. don't. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. First of all, my fiance and I, our mm -hmm. kids are older. Mm -hmm. So his sons are in their twin, and mine are in their twin. Yeah. You can't do that, and then boom, baby, you, you start all over again. Oh, that is boring. That ain't fun. That's, boring. That's not fun. Yeah. That's just too much going on. And seeing just like me, you're not an empty nester yet. No. Mine are back home. I know. I still have a daughter <laughs> at the house, and I feel so guilty because, in one way, of course, you want your baby to be there, Always but welcome. in the other way, I'm like, if y'all don't get out, you know what I mean? I'm ready to. <laughs> it'll be different if it was your daddy or something. We've been together all these years. Yeah, we still want you around. This is a new man. We trying to play yes. naked tag. Yeah. Play hide and go you get it. You hide and go, go get, get it. it. I'm trying to get naked this weekend. I'm trying to what? <laughs> 
can't do that. When you know they can't hear all the little animal sounds that come. You know, no, I mean, it just you, you want your space. So well, you might yeah. not have the you, you you got the big baby in the house, but you still have love for the little baby, the fur baby, brother Jones. Oh God, brother Jones. Uh, oh, you know, how brother does he Jones. Look at my dog. Everything. Look yeah. at that handsome dog. How's yes, he adjusting to the oh, new? Oh, that's yeah. my baby. He's glad to have a dad. And you started a whole uh, podcast behind brother Jones. Yes, I did because you know what? Um, you need something that's going to ground you and get you to that next step. And mm -hmm. my dog was that. Uh, again, being a woman that's on the road a lot, um, my kids didn't need me. They were doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. You know, Brother Jones needs me. I have to <laughs> feed him, walk him, be there for him. And it helped me to slow down and, and, and get back into myself, you know. And then mm -hmm. I'm running around yelling or being emotional and the dog is looking at you like you're completely crazy. Yeah. And so just having him there to kind of be a mirror to me and show me, you know, who I who I was and who I wanted to be, even the exercise, exercising a lot, being out with him all the time. Um, I found that a lot of comedians, you need that extra companionship. Being a comedian is a very emotional thing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ups and downs on this road. Mm -hmm. It's like a roller coaster in entertainment in general. Yes, yes. It's very much the yes. roller coaster. So to have a stable companion before my fiance, um, I had <laughs> Brother Jones, you know, and um, I found that most comedians have a companion, whether it's a dog, a cat, or a maid, or whatever you right, got right, going right. on. And so yeah, I started Comedy Dogs Podcast. That's Comedy Dogs with a Z. Um, mm. And it, if you love comedians and you love dogs, you're going to love Comedy Dogs Podcast. We talk to you. We start off love talking about dogs, comedy yes. and dogs, mm -hmm. but then we expand to, you know, hot topics and all the wonderful things that are going on um, in our comedy world. So. Too well, fun. With, with all that going on, yes. how do you keep yourself grounded and, uh, and mentally stable? Well, I just mentioned I'm back in therapy, man. Good, good um, you, having some therapy. mental maintenance, yes. uh, doing that tune-up. Uh, when you go through big life changes, I think it's always important to check in. Yes. You know, like I said, I'm slick 40. I'll be 40 in September. I have a new fiance. <laughs> uh, the kids are leaving. Uh -huh. it, uh, the career stuff is wonderful. Popping. But mm -hmm. it, again, it's popping and up and down. I don't even know if I want to be on the road anymore. I no, love really? being at home. And yeah, so it's really working through all of that and figuring out and taking the time to stay quiet and figuring out who you want to be and what type of person um, you want to be moving forward. So. Well, Vanessa, right. I commend you on everything. Your glow up is the bomb. Thank you. Congratulations and, I, and, and much, many blessings to you yes. and your yes. uh, future yes. husband. <laughs> Thank you. Same to you, Trina. <laughs> yeah. And if you love comedy and you love dogs, be sure to follow her podcast, Comedy Dogs, on Instagram and follow her at Vanessa Fraction.